Welcome back to Mediclass. Keys try it. Before that, let us see what are dental caries. Dental caries is a microbial disease of the calcified tissues of the teeth. It is characterized by decalcification of the inorganic portion and destruction of the organic substance of the tooth. According to WHO, it is defined as a localized post-eruptive pathological process of the external origin involving softening of the heart tissue and proceeding to the formation of a cavity. There are certain theories that explain the etiology of the dental caries. Worm theory, humus theory, vital theory, chemical theory, septic theory, acidogenic theory, and proteolysis theory. Let's start with worm theory. According to a Severian legend, toothache was caused by tooth infestation. According to the humus theory, a person's physical and mental constitution was determined by four body fluids, namely blood, phlegm, black bile, and yellow bile. All diseases, including the dental caries, were the result of imbalance in these humors. Vital theory. This theory proposed dental caries originating within the tooth itself. Chemical theory. This theory was proposed by Palm Lee. He stated that caries began on the surface of the enamel from an unidentified chemical agent. Septic theory. This theory was proposed by Erlt. He described filamentous parasites in the surface membrane of the teeth or plaque. Proteolysis theory. This theory was proposed by Gottlieb in 1944. He stated that the protein component of the tooth structure is destroyed first, prior to the loss of tooth minerals. Next is the extension of the proteolysis theory, that is the proteolysis chelation theory. This theory was proposed by Martin and Schatz in 1955. The products of proteolysis of tooth substance acquired pellicle and food by bacterial enzymes as a chelating agent which removed calcium from the tooth, resulting into caries. Acidogenic theory. This theory was put forth by W.T. Miller in 1890. It says that dental caries was a result of decalcification of tooth structure due to acid produced by the microorganisms. This is the most commonly accepted theory of all. Now let's see what is key stride. Acidogenic theory is best understood by the key stride, which was proposed in 1960. There are three factors that involve in tooth decay. Those are tooth or the host, substrate and microorganisms. This is a healthy tooth and this is key stride which explains the tooth, flora and substrate together, causing dental caries. All this is influenced by buffering capacity, flow rate, composition and pH of saliva. The modification of keystride. This includes more two factors, that is time and saliva. Now what are the host factors? It includes the morphology of tooth, like what is the size or the shape of the tooth. Then the intraoral variations like the pits and fissures. So if there are deep fissures, the chances of dental caries is more. The quantity, viscosity and composition of saliva and the irregular arch form of the teeth. If the arch form is more irregular, the chances of dental caries will increase. Substrate factors. This includes the type of carbohydrate that is simple, complex, the amount consumed, the frequency of the carbohydrates consumed per day and the biochemical properties of these carbohydrates. Microorganisms The microorganisms that are responsible for dental caries are Streptococcus mutans, Actinomyces, Lactobacilli, other microorganisms that produce IgA1 and proteases. To summarize, we learned the definition of dental caries the etiology of dental caries that involved several theories. Three factors of the key stride were host, substrate and microorganisms. Then we studied the modification of key stride that included saliva and time. We also studied the host factors, substrate factors and the microorganisms in detail.
You can find the link to the MCQs for this topic in the description of the video. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you liked it. And if you did, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for updates regarding our new videos. See you in the next video. Till then, stay healthy and have an amazing week.